Welcome to our Online. Here we have an example of an optics problem on the JE Advanced Test. Now this is a really interesting problem, but there's no way you can do this in three minutes. If all they allow you is three minutes, there's no way to be able to do this in three minutes. But if you just work steadily, it may not take a lot more than three minutes. So let's find out. But let's read the problem. They're nice enough to give you the diagram included. So we're dealing with a mirror and a lens both have a focal length of 10 centimeters an object is placed in front of the mirror 15 centimeters away the distance between the mirror and the lens is 50 centimeters and notice that I use the, the, the letters S being the object distance and S prime being the image distance instead of P and Q some books use P and Q I learned in my younger days to use S and S prime so let's read the problem it says that a mirror and a lens where the lens has an index of refraction of 1.5 both with focal length f equals 10 centimeters are separated by a distance of 50 centimeters in air so they start out with the whole con with the whole procedure in air air has an index of refraction of one an object is placed i need a d here 15 centimeters from the mirror the upright final image has magnification m1 now, when this setup is placed in a medium with index of refraction 7 over 6, the magnification becomes m2. What is the ratio of the magnification of m2 divided by m1? It's a number, an integer, between 1 and 9. Wow! So, the only way to do this is to work through this systematically. We'll have to work it one step at a time, realizing that when we start placing this in a medium other than air, the focal length of the lens is going to change, so we need to use the lens maker's equation to come up with the new focal length. And then we have to do everything over again. So, let's start out by using the equation that 1 over f equals 1 over s plus 1 over s prime. Of course, we can write this as f is equal to s f divided by s minus f. Oh, not f, sorry, s prime. The distance to the image is equal to the distance to the object times the focal length divided by the distance to the object minus the focal length. That's what we're going to use. So the first thing we need to do is find out the image created by the mirror for this particular object. So S prime is equal to S, which is 15, times F, which is 10, divided by 15 minus 10, which is equal to uh, 150 divided by 5, which is equal to 30 centimeters. That means that the image, now let me use a different color, the image is going to be 30 centimeters away, which is about right there. Now, what is the magnification of that? So the magnification 1 is going to be equal to, and now be careful, it's going to be, how about 1a? For the first part because we have to do the second part we still have to do the lens so 1a is equal to minus s prime over s which is minus 30 over s which is 15 which is equal to minus 2 so we can see that the image is upside down and twice as large as the original object so we have our first image like here like this so this is image 1a all right so now we have to send it through the lens so now we're going to use s prime uh, b so now we're going to go to the, to the lens is equal to s f over s minus f now s in this case is going to be 20 centimeters so now we're 20 centimeters away from the lens we're in front so this becomes 20 times 10 divided by 20 minus 10 which is equal to 200 divided by 10 which is 20 centimeters so notice where the image now will be 20 centimeters behind the lens. We can then go M1B, which is equal to minus S prime over S, which is equal to, and notice, I'm trying to simulate how you'd work through this quickly. You just have to crank quickly. Don't, don't sit there and think about it. Just go through the process. We now get the magnification across the lens, which is minus S prime, that's minus 20, divided by S, which is 20, and so that's equal to minus 1. So M1, which is the product of those two, so we can come up here, M1, which is equal to M1A times M1B, which is equal to minus 2 times minus 1, which is equal to 2. So now we know the magnification of M1 for the first process when everything is in air. 
now we need to find the focal length of the lens because now we're going to immerse this whole thing into another medium that has a different index of refraction. So we need to know the, the lens maker's equation where we have 1 over f is equal to the n of the lens divided by n of the medium minus 1 times 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2. Now notice this is the same for the lens in air as it is in the medium with the different index of refraction. So it turns out we need to figure out what this is first before we can calculate it for the new medium. So plugging in the information of the lens in air, we have 1 over 10 is equal to the index of refraction of the liquid. Well, the liquid is air, which is 1 divided by the... Oh, I'm sorry, not the liquid, the lens. i got to be careful. Index of refraction of the lens, which is 1.5, divided by the medium, which is 1 minus 1, times 1 over R1 minus 1 over R2. So now we can figure out what this is equal to. So this is 1.5 minus 1, which is 0 0.5. So 1 over 10 equals 0 0.5 times 1 over R1 minus 1 over R2. Multiply both sides by 2. And this becomes 1. Multiply this times 2, this becomes 1 fifth. Or divide both sides by 0.5. So I get 1 over 5 is equal to 1 over R1 minus 1 over R2. So now I know the value of the difference of those two fractions. Did I do that right? Yeah, because if I go 10 times this is 5, 1 over 5, that's correct. So now that I have that, I now use the lens maker's equation again to find the focal length in the new medium. So now I can go 1 over f is equal to uh, n sub l, that's n of the lens, divided by n of the medium minus 1 times 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2. So now when we come up here, we can actually plug in the values. So we're looking for 1 over the new focal length of the lens is equal to n of the lens, which is 1.5, or we can write this as 3 halves, I'll write as a fraction, 3 halves, divided by the inductive fraction of the new medium, which is 7 sixths, minus 1, times this fraction, which is 1 over 5. So now, from that, we're supposed to find the inductive fraction of, I mean, the focal length of the lens, so 1 over f is equal to 3 over 2 times 6 over 7, minus 1 times 1 fifth. So this would be, that would be 3, that would be 1, that would be 9 sevenths minus 1. So this is 1 over f is equal to 9 over 7 minus 1, which is 7 over 7, times 1 over 5, which is equal to 2 over 7 times 1 over 5, which is 2 over 35. So if 1 over f is 2 over 35, then f is 35 divided by 2, which is 17.5 centimeters. <clears throat> so now we have the focal length of the lens in the new medium. Now we can do the whole thing over again. So now, again, for the mirror, it makes no difference. The whole first part of the process will be exactly the same because the mirror is not affected by the new medium. So then we can say that s prime, uh, s yeah, S prime of the second, so I'll go 2A of the second process, that's going to still be 30 centimeters. And we can say that the magnification of 2A is going to be equal to minus 2. So that doesn't change because we've changed the new medium. Only the lens effect has changed. So now we go to the second part. S prime of 2B is equal to, we use the same equation, so we use SF over s minus f, but now we use the information with the new focal length of the lens. So this is equal to, again, 20 centimeters times 17.5 divided by 20 centimeters minus 17.5. So this is going to be equal to 350 divided by 2.5. Is that correct? 7.5, that's 2, that's 35, 350 divided by 2.5. 2.5 goes into a 100 40, uh, 40 times, in 300, 120 times, so 140. So this is equal to S2B prime is equal to 140 
So now we can find the new magnification. Magnification of 2b is equal to minus s prime over s, which is minus 140 over s, which is 20. It's still the same as 20. So this is going to be minus 7. So magnification 2b is minus 7. So now magnification 2 is equal to magnification 2a times magnification 2b, which is equal to 2a, which is minus 2, times minus 7, which is equal to 14. So magnification 2 is equal to 14. Now we can find the ratio. So now we go m2 divided by m1 is equal to 14 divided by m1, I believe was 2, if I'm not mistaken. Where did we go with that? There we go. It's equal to 2. So that would be equal to 7. In other words, n equals 7 is what we're looking for. The ratio of the magnification the second time around, when the whole thing was put into a different medium with index of refraction 7 over 6, that magnification is 7 times as great as the magnification we got the first time when everything was in air. And yes, there's no way that anybody can do this in three minutes. But if you just forget about that and you just crank, you do one thing at a time and you just crank right through it, notice I put a lot of extra information in to show you how it's done, but that is the only way you can get to the final answer. And with a little shortcut realizing that the first part did not change, you have to make sure that you remember that you have to get this first when everything is in air before you can solve for the focal length in the new medium and then you crank for the second part of that and then you do the ratio of the magnification of the second time around versus the first time around. Yes, it's quite a problem. <laughs>